Hello everyone. Welcome to Vidya and Classes. This is a session of KEA PG set MBA courses. It's a questionnaire consists of four sections: English, Aptitude, Reasoning, and GK. If you want to look for the rest of the sections, do visit our other videos created by our other faculty members on this channel. I will be handling the English section where we will solve 25 questions of previous consecutive years. If you like our videos before moving ahead, do like, share, subscribe our channel for more updates. For more creative videos, do visit our Instagram page. Now, let's start. Select the most appropriate one which is closest in meaning to the given word. The first word is explicit. Four options have been given clean, obvious, implied, and specifical. Now, what does explicit mean? Explicit means precise. Okay. Exactly what needs to be said or expressed. Very precise or accurate. So, among all these alternatives, clean, obvious, implied, and specifically, we can say that our answer would be specifically. Next, infamy. Infamy means dishonor or disrespect. Okay. Glory means uh, we all know that uh, the grandeur uh, or the glory, glorious past, the something which uh, invites respect. Okay. Integrity means wholeness. Reputation means goodwill. We have already come across these words. So, infamy means dishonor. So, the word itself has been given. So, our answer would be dishonor. Next, absolute. Now, it is very easy to guess. Uh, no need to think even. Division, complete, small and half are the options. Obviously, it's com complete. So, no need of uh, even suspicion. Fill in the blank with the correct option. Man is or an dash creature. However, he is more in need of mental companionship than of physical companionship. Four options have been given. Egoistic, which means a person who is self-obsessed and he thinks that he is only the superior than others. Biological means we are all biological beings. Uh, emotionals, we all have emotions. And gregarious means who prefers, who prefers to stay in groups. We humankind is a social animal. We all prefer to stay in a community. We can't stay alone. Okay. So, we are gregarious in nature. Now, which one to choose? Now, if we look carefully at the end of the sentence, it has been mentioned that need of a mental companionship and physical companionship. Both are needed. Okay. But he needs more mental companionship than physical companionship. So, companionship is already been mentioned. Right. So, which one to choose? Now, if I say man is an egoistic creature. Now, every man will not be egoistic, right? Ego is a kind of specific uh, attribute and it doesn't mean that every person will have ego, okay? So, we will first eliminate logically egoistic because all are not egoistic, okay? If we say emotional, for example, if I say man is an emotional creature, however, he is more in need of mental companionship than of physical companionship. Is it really fitting? Emotional attribute has already been mentioned here, right? So, we don't need emotional again. Okay. So, it's better to eliminate emotional. It is also not needed. If I say man is a biological creature, however, he is more in need of mental companionship than of physical companionship. Now, here it will also not be suitable. Why? Because when we are saying something biological, we refer to them as biology. Okay. That means academic. Okay. It is totally science. And this is totally companionship or psychological fact. Okay. So, here biological and psychology. This science and psychology, this will not match. So, for again, we will eliminate biological. So, we are left with only one option which is actually suitable, gregarious. Man wants to stay in groups but at the same time he chooses that specific person who is mentally compatible with him or her rather than physical compatibility. Okay. Next, Shivala dash classical music. He always prefers Bhims and Joshi to Asa Bhusle. Now, four options have been given. Adores. Adores means love intensely. Love 
intensely when we uh, say that i adore uh, this poet that means i love this poet you know uh, apprehends means understand it also means in some cases arrest when it is related to crime so the person has been apprehended it has been he has been arrested and in this context it will be understanding that means shivalal understands classical music encompasses means surrounded we can say that a place it's a place it's surrounded by greenery okay there are greenery is all around it so it is encompassed by greenery okay cultivate means acquire skills here one cultivate is actually cultivation that means agriculture and here since we are talking about music and uh, when we will be referring cultivate in case of uh, using some art form like music we will refer it as acquiring skills we are talking. now which one to choose in this uh, context now if i say shivalal apprehends or understands classical music he always prefers hins and joshi to asa mosley will it really make any sense he understands classical music that's fine a person makes a choice this is a kind of choice right he prefers one person to another person so that means when a person is making a specific choice he definitely adores classical music our answer would be adores so sometimes logically we also have to think next is but dash are now regularly written to describe well established practices organizations and institutions not all of which seem to be dash away we have been given four options to fill these blanks reports withering stories trading books dying and obituaries fading now which to choose now uh, here notice one thing but dash are now regularly written now which can be written regularly do you think books can be read uh, books can be read regularly no right so we will first eliminate this books and dying we are left with three options reports withering stories trading and obituaries fading stories are never written about well established practices right facts can be written so the next thing which we will eliminate is stories we are left with two options one is reports withering obituaries and fading now which to choose reports can also be written regularly now what does withering mean now this withering this term means shrink okay or we can say wrinkled for example this is a leaf okay let's say this is a leaf now when a leaf get dries how does it become it becomes like this right if you have seen uh, especially uh, after the autumn has ended normally starting from the autumn the leaves uh, of the deciduous plants they normally shed right they get dried up and they shrink in this way and uh, even if we consider reports here we don't say report is getting shrunk or it is getting wrinkled right because those are recorded facts which uh, they cannot be wrinkled so hence our assumption of this option is also not working due to this withering word okay we are left with one option only obituaries and fading now what is obituary means now obituary means short notice of a dead person within a short biographical account normally you will see this uh, coming in newspapers where now if we write obituary it is also a kind of short article you can say okay and not all of them seem to be faded fading away now actually it's referring to short articles and all of them will never be forgotten many of them may be forgotten later on but everything will never be forgotten so here actually fading uh, in a sense you can say forgotten so everything will not be forgotten okay so our answer would be none other than obituaries and fading due to this reason next darwin who dash is most remarkable for the way in which 
he dashed the attributes of the world class thinker and head of the household four options have been given comes figures arises adds emerges combines appeared combines now if you look uh, at the end of the sentence the attributes of the world class thinker and head of the institution that means it is referring to darwin himself now two qualities that attributes means traits or uh, we can say uh, characteristics okay the personal traits the attributes or so when two has been mentioned and there has been a fill in there is has been a blank so it definitely will be a combination it will be a kind of combination right so we have got combines in two options so the first work which we need to do is to eliminate a option and to eliminate b option only we are left with two options emerges combines appeared combines now both of these options have got combines with them now definitely we have understood that combines will be the uh, next uh, answer of this blank right now which will be uh, coming in this front blank emerges or appeared which one let's see what is the difference between emerges and appeared see we can see water surface and on the water surface a stone is floating okay we can say it appeared okay the thing which is visible appear means visible here we can see that a whale is jumping up from the water surface right so here what is the difference so it is a kind of emerging it's a kind of emerging like it's a kind of forcefully coming out of something so since darwin is a very famous uh, biologist who has given us the proposition that survival of the fittest that means species who are surviving are actually coming from the uh, they are actually the progeny of the prior uh, species who had survived due to their uh, survival abilities okay so he is a very uh, famous person so when his study has actually come into the light we have actually recognized him or acknowledged him as a person uh, due to which uh, we can assume something related to the creation right so here it should be a kind of forceful he doesn't just he didn't just appear he actually emerged out of many things so it's so we will consider emerges and combines as the correct option instead of appeared and combines since her face was free of dash there was no way to dash if she appreciated what had happened four options have been given make up realize expression ascertain emotion diagnose scars and understand now which one to choose now first uh see her face was free of dash there was no way to dash if she appreciated what had happened now we cannot understand whether she appreciated or not right now makeup will not help us to understand whether she appreciated or not so we will first eliminate logically the first one the let's look at let's look at number d scars and understand what do you mean by scars it's marks left on the skin due to injury okay so when a person uh, may get injured uh, maybe the person has got some surgeries on his face and he has been injured uh, and he has left there has been certain marks left on his skin okay on his body now with this word also we cannot say that uh, we couldn't understand whether she appreciated or not so scars will not tell us regarding this fact right so we will eliminate this also we are left with two op uh, we are left with two options now here this diagnose is uh, used when we say someone is treating a disease right diagnose a patient we say right so here it's not anything related to a uh, health issue has happened it's about whether she has appreciated or not so diagnosis is not relevant so we will also eliminate this logically this one so we are left with one option which is actually correct her face was free of expression he didn't express and she didn't express anything okay and that's why 
we couldn't ascertain now what does ascertain means ascertain means make sure make sure when we use the word make sure that she we are actually emphasizing that she had appreciated so her face didn't have any expression okay so logically also this b number would be the correct option next in this context the dash of the british labor movement is particularly dash now four options have been given affair weird activity moving experience significant atmosphere and gloomy now first see a movement cannot be gloomy you see that this is a british labor british labor movement which is a very significant in a history it's a historical fact so it cannot be weird right so a labor movement any kind of movement or revolution can never be weird it happens for a certain kind of reasons so we will first eliminate a option then when we are saying gloomy the last one we cannot say a movement is gloomy right so a movement or a revolution can't be gloomy so this option is not going to be correct we are left with two options activity moving experience and significant now which one to choose now when we say moving it means uh deeply affected okay uh we can say i was deeply the letter was deeply moving or the movie was deeply moving that means i was really touched by the movie okay. now this labor movement is nothing related to emotions right so it cannot be moving there has to be something else so moving this option also we are going to eliminate we are left with only one option experience and significant so definitely it is going to work because movement is definitely significant and the experience the experience of the british labor movement the whatever people whoever people were involved in the movement whatever they have experienced and in this this context whatever the story has been written just before this sentence that context the experience of the people uh, wrapped up together is definitely making the uh, movement significant okay so our answer would be experience and significant indian intellectuals may boast boast means self praise okay remember this word self praise when i am praising myself okay i am having pride on myself and i am saying that i have got this qualities so it's a kind of boasting uh, and it's a kind of self praising okay and then intellectuals may boast if they are so inclined of being dash to the most elitist among the intellectual dash of the world the four options have been given subordinate traditions heirs cliques ancestors societies heir and tradition now here click is a new word it's a kind of a small group of people a uh, based on a particular idea okay for example a group of people who are having the same kind of taste of uh, literature or a group of people who are foodies okay or uh, we can say a group of people who are uh, very creative they are involved in uh, painting or art or a group of people who are involved in the field of music they know the various kinds of uh, uh, musical instruments their use their sound their significance so cliques always uh refer to a group of people based on a same taste okay the first one uh, subordinate and traditions if we place traditions like among the intellectual traditions of the world so is it it is not making any sense right there has to be a person okay and it is also to it also should be a person only then the meaning of the sentence will be grammatically correct they are so inclined of being dash to the most elitist most elitist means elite means a uh, classy people you know when we say that classy people uh, it's a class of people who have rich taste of everything uh, they are very uh, high thinking and uh, they are not at all backward they are very advanced in thinking their taste they are they are very fussy about many things so we say that they are very elite this class is very elite or this class is very classy okay so 
we will eliminate this societies also as i've already told you there has to be a person here logically also if you see so societies traditions it will not be uh, relevant only this thing this airs and clicks will be relevant if i say here air okay is that means who is an air air is a descendant so indian intellectuals they boast they think that they are the heirs to the most elitist among the intellectual cliques the sentence will be grammatically correct logically also so sometimes uh, even if you don't know the meaning sometimes uh, you have to see the sentences from a logical point of view choose the correct meaning of proverb or idiom to make clean breast of we have got four options to gain prominence to praise oneself to confess without reserve to destroy before it blooms now what is the meaning of make a clean breast of it means to confess telling a truth okay or we can say telling truth and when someone is confessing we say that he is saying something without any hesitation okay so to confess without any reserve so our answer would be to confess without reserve next to drive home we have got four options to find one's roots to return to place of rest back to original position to emphasize now to drive home means emphasize or another word uh, as a synonym we can remember is reinforce when we are sticking to certain points we have discussed and we are emphasizing continuously to put additional significance to the things which we have discussed so far so when we say it this way we say let's drive home the points which we have discussed so long okay so our answer would be none other than to emphasize next to cry wolf now here it is actually related to this story of shepherd and the wolf the very famous fable right so when the shepherd was crying wolf has come please save me but uh, actually the wolf didn't come right so it was a kind of false uh giving a false signal that something has come or we can also say call for help when not needed when someone is calling for help but the help is not needed at that point of time okay just like we have experienced in this story shepherd and the wolf so according to this uh, we have got four options to listen eagerly to give false alarm to turn pale to give up to keep off starvation so we can clearly see that our answer would be none other than to give false alarm next is the to pick holes uh, four options have been given to find some reason to quarrel to destroy something to criticize someone to cut some part of an item now what is the meaning of to pick holes it means find fault with someone when we are trying to find loopholes in somebody's uh, opinion okay we say that we are picking holes in him so according to this our answer would be criticizing someone okay number c next to smell a rat four options have been given to see signs of plague epidemic epidemic we all know that uh, this is a widespread disease okay widespread disease when we refer to a widespread disease we say epidemic just like plague itself to get bad smell of a dead rat to suspect fall dealings to be in a bad mood now what is the meaning of smell to smell a rat it means suspect deception or trickery that means for example an investigation is going on fine and uh, the investigators have discovered that actually uh, someone is trying to uh, deceive them okay someone is lying a trap so that the investigators couldn't find the actual criminal okay so in that way also we can say that uh, the investigators felt uh, that they're smelling a rat so among all these uh, four options we will choose to suspect fall dealings okay fall means uh, not good okay fall smell right when we say fall smell it means like the smell is not good okay so the dealing is not good or unfair okay so some dealings which has not been fair enough and uh, the investigators are already suspecting 
that some four dealings there has been there have been so it means like you smell a rat okay choose the correct opposite of the given words the first one is latent it has got four options concealed real apparent dubious now what does latent means it it refers to something which is not physically present in case of uh, people who are uh, normally who normally hallucinates or feels that something is present where wherever they are not actually present so we sometimes refer to them as latent visions or latent experiences okay concealed means hidden which is not seen which cannot be seen apparent means visible which we can see and dubious means doubtful so according to this which is not physically present so we can choose real as our correct answer next zenith now zenith means top okay for example a person zenith normally refers to a person and the sky above him okay for example a person is standing over here okay and this is the sky and the topmost portion or the topmost point this one will be called as the zenith okay so the topmost position of the observer will be termed as zenith now acme also means top pinnacle also means top he is at the pinnacle of success he is at the top or the height of success only nadir means lowest point of something so when we say that the lowest point of something we say that nadir of so our answer would be none other than nadir next advance the four options have been given hamper which means hinder hinder or putting a difficulty in front of the path of procedure okay so we also called hamper our success hindering our success okay backward increase and defeat now obviously it's very easy to guess over here that it would be none other than backward prompt it has got four options unwillingly unwilling means disinterested uh, restrain means control provoke means trigger late you already know uh, delayed so prompt this word is very common we already have uh, come across this word it means immediate so according to this obviously our answer would be late next is substantial substantial means very much in quantity okay more than enough we have got four options extensive independent manifest and minimal now extensive what does extensive mean extensive means large in space for example we say extended range of mountains okay there is a long range of mountains which is extending from here to that state okay so there also we use this word extensive manifest means show which could be displayed which is uh, which could be seen plainly okay and minimal is very low or very less rather we can say so according to this our answer would be minimal choose the correct pair of words as given in capital letters wool and acrylic now four options have been given cotton polyester polyester nylon rayon menit stay and india assam now what is wool and what is the relation it uh, what is its relation with acrylic so let's find out how does a wool look like and how does an acrylic look like see this is a wool right we all know that we uh, use this wool to make our sweater wool and clothes this is an acrylic okay it is an acrylic now this is an artificial wool sometimes some clothes are made with uh, artificial wool as well okay uh, for example there are also certain garments which are available or which are made uh, from some other fabric rather than cotton so this kind of varieties of garments we are we can see they are already available in the market right so according to our test we buy them how does cotton and polyester look like this is a cotton which is uh, obtained from the cotton plant 
and this is polyester this is a kind of silky thing okay this is a kind of uh, silky fabric or silky cloth which is made from uh, polyester fabric nylon is also a kind of silky thing okay it is also a kind of silky cloth you can say and rayon is also a kind of silky thing now, nylon you can say this is an alternative of silk okay and this is rayon is actually obtained from petroleum and it's a kind of fiber and it's a, a synthetic silk you can say okay it's a kind of uh, synthetic silk wool and acrylic are involved in clothing okay these are involved in clothing now cotton polyester these are also involved in clothing nylon rayon is also involved in clothing now minutes and days not at all involved in clothing and india and Assam are two separate states so we will first eliminate them and now which one to decide which one to choose this one or this one now there is a kind of confusion now if you look carefully you will see that cotton clothes we all know right we feel very comfortable in cotton clothes during summer time and this polyester is a kind of silky way they are also involved in clothing but the texture is different right different texture here in this question this is wool real wool this is artificial wool okay so it is also a kind of mimic of wool the same thing uh, we can you can also uh, make sweaters from acrylic okay here nylon and rayon both are silky one is synthetic silky and this is an alternative of silky so both are of both of them are silky in nature like in the picture you can see so according to this our answer would be this nylon and rayon next is drop cloth and furniture now what is the meaning of drop cloth drop cloth is actually a cloth to cover furniture okay when a person has not started uh, living in a home uh, you will see even in movies also you can uh, see that uh, all the furniture all the fans and all the uh, the photos and all are covered with a white cloth okay so that it doesn't get in contact with dust right so when after a person enters then he uh, removes the clothes and uh, then he creates he or she creates a proper environment to stay right so cloth which is used to cover furniture that's called drop cloth now here apron we all know that uh, a person wears an apron while cooking or while washing something or while doing something messy so that the cloth doesn't get uh, spoiled okay banner we all know banner looks like this okay something has been written now flagpole is this pole okay on which a flag is hoisted now towel we all know that this is a uh, rack we keep towel we hang a towel on a rack right now pillow and bending are totally different bending means bend and pillow is totally different so since here the relation is to cover something so among four of them only we can find apron and clothing because apron covers the clothing so that it doesn't get spoiled next is cloud burst and rainfall now what does what do you mean by cloud burst cloud burst means sudden heavy rain with hailstorm with thunderstorm very sudden and very strong rainfall okay we have got four options ashes fire this is not going to uh, work because ashes actually after a flame has been put out so it's a kind of residue okay so it is not going to work sunbeam is sun rays rays of the sun okay beam means light light of the sun or rays of the sun flame means the flames of fire right ripple also means wave so these are synonyms okay so it is a kind of synonym so here only we can say gust is to wind is the correct answer why because gust means strong wind okay 
sudden strong wind so sudden heavy rain and gust is sudden strong wind it is also rainfall this is also wind so according to this gust and wind will be the correct option moderate and debate okay so when a debate goes on between two people there stays a moderator okay who actually moderates the debate that means he plays he or she plays as a neutral person who will set the debate so that the two people who are involved in the debate they don't fight with each other and they are given a proper time to speak in so that nobody someone will not interrupt the other so a moderator's role is very much important in a debate so he has to play a neutral uh, neutral role now legislature is a place where laws are made election is a process it is not totally related to the legislature now chef and banquet banquet means a hall and uh, chef who cooks right auditor is a listener or keeps accounts and lecture is already del delivery of some uh, academic lecture or something else delivery of a speech you can say and umpire and game now remember spe uh, especially this umpire comes in cricket right so when two teams play an umpire stays as a neutral role he cannot take any side can so according to the role playing we can say only the umpire and game is the correct answer next is fish and mermaid now fish and mermaid mermaid is actually a, an imaginary character where you will see half portion of the uh, creature is of a lady and the lower part lower part of the body is of a fish with the tail right now options have been given unicorn tapestry horse horse centaur pegasus fly cat and lion now definitely since there is a fish and there is another characteristics it is one of the characteristics of a species of a fish although it's imaginary so here the first option that we are going to eliminate is cat and lion okay now unicorn is a kind of horse horse with one horn so it's a kind of imaginary character and the tapestry means it's a kind of wall hanging so let's assume that this is a wall and this is a hanging and it's a kind of uh, decoration also you can say and here there are some pictures okay there are stitches uh, it's a kind of wall hanging made up of fabric and uh, some kind of pictures have been uh, fabricated some pictures have been stitched in such a way it, now centaur is actually half man and half horse so it's also a kind of imaginary creature just like the fish and the mermaid pegasus is flying horse it is also a kind of uh, mythological figure in greek mythology uh, and fly is a kind of insect right so this is also actually not matching so here actually this fish and mermaid they have the same characteristics so horse and centaur they also have the they also has the same characteristics so according to this our answer would be horse and centaur thanks for watching if you like our videos like share and subscribe and uh, comment down below if you have any queries regarding any questions and uh, any informations so Till then, take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.